Welcome to the Nick Five Circus Exposed. What's that mean? That means we're about to release a lot of secrets about our little circus. Ooh. Like, why do I call Isabel and it in some of the videos? But not yet, we're not going over that one yet. There's a lot to talk about and it's all the things you wanted to know. Let's go. But first, the cotton candy. Hey, Isabel. You're on the balcony, sweetie. Were you eating cotton candy? I eat 14. No, but first let's answer a question right away. A lot of people think that you don't talk in your real voice. Sometimes I do. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> but what's your other voice? What do you mean my other voice? Your little mama voice? Hello? Santa, did you know that I've been volunteering and helping others? Uh-huh. So that means I should be on the nice list. Thank you! Me on the nice list. Do do me on the nice list. Santa is not actually on the phone. <laughs> oh, that voice. That's not my real voice. This is. Yeah, what can we hear the little mama voice? Can you make a change? <laughs> okay, so do you prefer your real voice or your little mama voice? Well, I like my little mama voice. I know you do. <laughs> sometimes I like being Isabel, and sometimes I like being little mama. <laughs> or this voice! <laughs> do you like filming now, or yeah. what do you think? I like filming. Why is that? Because it helps me spend time with my family. Yeah. And I like filming. I know. What's your favorite thing to film? Balcony. The balcony? Or the cotton candy. Or the shopping streets. Or Disney. Or Universal. Or Hershey. Does it ever feel like too much, though? No. Okay. Another one. Can I do a flip on the ground? I don't know. Let's try it. Wait, what, what else do you want to talk about? The cotton candy. What about it? Do I actually put in my hair? What are you doing? We have hat. Yes. So as you can tell, we love to play together and pretend. Sometimes she's not pretending. Like right now, she's not pretending. People are dying to know why I call you an it. Do you know why? It's a vial. No, no more rock climbing. It's a balcony. Yeah. You know. And Me. That's enough. How are you? I'm good. We good too. Okay. But also, do you like being called an it or do you want me to stop? I like being called an it. Don't stop. Don't stop! Okay. Do you know any other it's in your family? Arabella? Mommy? I want it, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's right. I would actually consider myself to be an it as well, because like you have to have like it tendencies, which is like being a crazy kid and kind of just like having a free spirit and being, I don't know, like not human like in some ways. <laughs> don't know how to explain it, but we're it. Live with it. You know what I need? My aunt button. Your aunt button? What's that? Daddy, it's more like a scary cat. One more, cut. That's it. Scissors. We need the aunt button. Why? Because we need the aunt button. You're in a mood. Me could have my Gucci on. Gucci on! Me could have my Louis Vuitton. But even with nothing uh, on. Me making what? Me making what? I'm a little bit It's a boy, yo! So 
it would be funny for my character to be up there eating spaghetti and then mommy walks in and says, it's a boil and I drop the spaghetti and I didn't know it was gonna get that many views. Yeah, it has 110 million views. Wow. Was that spaghetti even hot? No, we didn't even waste food. It was just old spaghetti. Dropping Legos is super satisfying. And I mean satisfying. Which one was your favorite one to drop? Oh, um, probably the Elsa. That was really Oh, the Let It Go. That was the first really big one. Yeah, that was. I think that was the first one we dropped too. And also, that Lego was actually broken. So we did not waste the Lego. It was actually broken. Can you sing Let It Go now? <laughs> <laughs> Do like one line. Do one line. One line? Yeah. Let it go. Let it go. We just sit, think of ideas, and then we make the ideas. It's super fun. And I have one right now. Okay. What about that time that you had this Christmas tree? Was that hard to do? Well, the Christmas tree was heavy, but it was satisfying. Remember that time that you had the lizard on you? Nick, mommy, a lizard! <laughs> Can you get off now? <laughs> just climbed up my shoulder. Did that actually scare you? Was that real or? Yeah, that was real. Because it was like getting into my shirt. Ugh, that one has 154 million views. We, we named that instant regret. Okay, let's talk about the elephant that's not in the room, which is my husband, Helmet Boy. And what is he really like? Does he actually need the helmet? Well, he's had that helmet for... Like three years. Like almost three and a half. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. For all you new people, we started Circus three and a half years ago with zero experience. Within the next year, I have I had gotten my certification to be an Aero Silks teacher so I could teach them safely. Speaking of safety, let me show you. Okay, so we have two giant, I mean giant pit pillows. These are 12 inches thick and they're six feet by eight feet. And it doesn't hurt. It Up there, fun. everything is rigged professionally and was approved by an engineer and everything. I think a good way to explain the Mech 5 Circus is athletes with a sense of humor that love comedy. I think, I, I really do think that's the best way to explain it is it's athletes that, that, that do comedic things. That's fun. So here we go, she is going for a big drop all the way down to the pad. Let's see if the pad does its job. All right, oh, you're still going? Okay. Boom. Boom, all right, I think you're high enough now. Yeah, I think that's good. Are you doing 360s? Are you doing, what? oh geez, you're doing that drop from up there? Okay, we're gonna do the ultimate drop from 20 feet up to the pit pillow. Let's see if she survives. Oh, jeez. This is the poopy drop. You're naming it the poopy drop. Great. The ultimate poopy, baby, diarrhea drop. No, no, just ultimate poopy drop is good. No, ultimate poopy, baby, diarrhea drop. I don't think we're supposed to say all that on YouTube. How we just say it's the happy drop? No. <laughs> Three, two, one, leave! Oh, jeez. 
Did that hurt? Nope. She survived from the happy drop. Yeah. Love it. Uh, uh, subscriber challenged you again. They challenged you to do the triple star drop from the very top. I can do that. Did they actually tell me to do that? Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey, you're not feeling good? What's up? Isabel's gonna do a front dive to a triple star from the top. Is she really doing it? Can you ask her not to? No. I'm lying. Okay, I'm gonna go. You can just keep dying in here. Stop. Stop. <laughs> are you acting or are you actually sick? Okay, bye. Oh, jeez. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm right here. So a lot of people think that you climb the silks without me in here. Do you ever do that? No. Why not? Because it's dangerous. It is dangerous, look at you. Speaking of drops, here's the professional rigging yo. Check this out, look how nicely it looks. Look at it. Do so you wanna do a, a Lego drop from here? You can try catching something? Go get a Lego. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna try catching a Lego today? Sure, what Lego? Okay, Isabel, if you can catch Hermione, you can keep it. Are you ready? Okay, oof. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, we catch ah! Oh, you got it! Good job! Now that I have it, let me try to drop with it. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Oof! Yes. Oops. This is when you're supposed to be scream. You forgot. <laughs> Isabel did her triple star. Right. What do you mean? You're still pretending to be sick? I'm not pretending. Okay. And then I have her try to catch the Hermione Lego. She caught it. Ugh. It's good. Yeah. And then she dropped with the Lego, so on her way down, she actually dropped the Lego. So Hermione is dead. That was my favorite Lego. <laughs> I am sick. Why do you do that with my Lego? Hey, Bunny. Don't look at the dog. Come on, Bunny. <laughs> He's a faker. He is a faker. Okay, my favorite part about YouTubing is definitely being creative while hanging out at the same time. It is just so much fun. Like we take something as ordinary as a gingerbread house. We all know what happened to the gingerbread house. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since there's no place to go, let us know, let us know, let us know. It's a boil. <laughs> Good job exposing our little circus today. I still don't know what that means. It, we just told a bunch of our secrets. Should we post this? No. <laughs> Why? Why every video you do that? Why? No, no. But what? Why? You ha You don't have to do it. You just do. <laughs>